For the first time ever, the ACRC Bowl traveled up to New York this weekend and Iona College hosted Delaware University in support of the Quinn for the Win Foundation. In their last game of the fall season, Iona looked to carry forward their victory against Stony Brook University last week and bring it into their battle against the University of Delaware. Although Iona scored the first try, they had a hard time maintaining possession of the ball and just couldn't get enough tackles in. Junior flanker John Pederuti says the team just couldn't find an easy loophole to score tries. Started out strong scoring the first try, uh, but then we kind of got on our back foot a little bit, uh, some penalties. Uh, we were playing down some men for a while and they went up a few tries. Uh, so we went into the half down a bit. Uh, we dug ourselves a hole, but we were determined to come out of it. So we started out the second half with the ball. Uh, we ended up scoring twice real fast, um, and we took the lead for a little bit, and it was a battle from then on. It was an extremely technical and physical game as Iona fell to Delaware 29-36. to Senior eight-man Evan Stiko scored two tries, and sophomore center Michael Scarcella scored one try, bringing the game to a close end. We came out, we were excited, but uh, so was Delaware. Uh, they came out ready to go. Uh, I guess uh, we kind of were waiting at first for someone else to make the play. We didn't really take the initiative as a team to come together and capitalize on our opportunities. Uh, the key was really consistency, and uh, Delaware was more consistent than us when it mattered. Iona's Michael Scarcella and Evan Stikos were both awarded Man of the Match awards. Delaware's Chris Mattina was also awarded on their side and had a lot to say about Coach McLean. I know Bruce really well. He coached me in high school, so I know his type of game, and it's really aggressive, really fast. They're going to be a well-coached team, so we were really expecting it, um, and we prepared well for it, um, but it's, it's a little different when you actually get out there, and we've never played Iona, so um, I thought it was. I thought we, we handled the pressure really well. Tyler Ringwood and John Powers also added to the score. Despite the tough loss and extremely competitive matchup, both teams came together afterwards to support Pat Quinn. He is Nyona College rugby alumnus battling ALS, and he is also the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge co-founder. Money and proceeds raised during this game will benefit Pat's charity, Quinn for the Win. Pat Quinn spoke and gave an inspirational speech about how much the team and the sport of rugby meant to him. It blows my mind that there is a, a bowl game named after us. So, understand... It was bigger than just beating each other up for a couple hours. You guys are playing something that means something. Not just for me, but ALS patients everywhere follow what I do. And they're going to hear about Delaware. And they're going to hear about Iowa. Pat Quinn inspired both teams to keep pushing forward. We wish him well. Reporting for North Avenue Nation, I'm Rala Kethwari.